LMPD is still looking for the suspect who shot seven people and killed one other person at H2O Lounge in West Louisville one week ago. It's our top story here on the night team. I'm Alex Dieterer. LMPD's first division and Metro Councilwoman Tammy Hawkins addressed the public yesterday to help them solve this case. Tonight, community members gathered for a prayer vigil to acknowledge the lives that have been taken by violence in their neighborhoods. WHAS 11's Jose Alonso shares how they want to see and use their faith and see it make a change. But the answer to crime is Jesus and love. Louvillians turning to faith for action. Just a week after the fatal shooting at H2O Lounge, community members of West Louisville gathered across the street to host a prayer vigil and to talk about how they want to combat violence in their neighborhood. If you put light on darkness. In the crowd was Khalid Rahim with Pivot to Peace Russell. Nyla Lanier is my niece. She was murdered. Najee Moody is my grandson. He was murdered. Lives that was taken senselessly and we still don't know who or what. He's one of many community leaders exhausted by the violence in the city, especially in West Louisville neighborhoods. My mother told me don't come out today. She said because you say the same thing and nothing changes. Saturday's prayer vigil is a sign their faith is still strong. That we would get along, that we would love one another. Retired police officer Ray Barker, also known as Sir Friendly C, shared some powerful words before the worship. We cannot become numb to this violence to where we let the violence take control of our community. We must keep pushing forward. Breathe your spirit down these streets. Breathe. Pastor Broderick Purvis also offered support, saying he's not numb to the violence, but says it's concerning how it plagues the areas around his church. It breaks my heart seeing folks die uh, over something crazy, basically, and uh, makes me work harder on getting people the word of God. It's just letting them know that we're here and that you have an outlet. Just take a second to think. As the doors to the bar remain closed, the frustrations from the community still linger. West Louisville leaders hope their faith will lead to change. Jose Alonso, WHAS 1119, on your side. Just as a reminder, police are still looking for this SUV, which is a Chevy Tahoe seen speeding away from the scene that night. The color is light brown or gold, and it's dated between 2007 and 2014. Metro police say the SUV would have bullet holes in the front. If you have any information, you're encouraged to call the anonymous tip line at 574-LMPD. You can also use their online portal.